Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of volume, specifically how we can find volume if given a base layer, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we know that volume has to do with how much space a 3-dimensional object takes up, and sometimes we'll be asked to find volume, and we're not really even given a picture of the entire object. So what we see here are some cubes, and we know that each of these cubes is one cubic unit, so we don't necessarily know if they're cubic inches, cubic meters, cubic feet, it doesn't really matter. And we are given a picture of a base layer, so think of this as a larger rectangular prism. It kind of goes like this, right? So we're going to kind of imagine that we could draw it up like a little bit bigger like this, and let's pretend like this is our rectangular prism, and all they gave us was the very bottom layer. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out what, what is the volume of this rectangular prism if they give us one more piece of information. Now, let's look at what we know about volume. Volume of rectangular prisms can be found two different ways. You'll find two different formulas. One will be length times width times height. So what that means is if we call this the length, how many cubes does it go side to side? The width, we can view this. And then the height is going to be up and down. right? So that's really what we're missing. We're missing that height. And the problem, if this were a word problem, would give us the height. Another way to think about this, and this is probably what's going to be a little bit more normal when you get into middle school and high school, is you're going to see it looking like this. B, H. Now they have a lowercase h, but this h is still height. Those two are the same. What this B is, it means the area of the base. And so what is, how do you find the area of a base? Well, this base is a rectangle and area, right, equals length times width. So it just kind of brings those two together into a smaller formula that only uses two letters, B and H, rather than three letters. So either way, let's figure out what this base is. Now, when we're counting this, there's two, day, two ways we can do it. One way would be to count every single one. When we count every single one, let's make sure that we're not counting each square face that we see. Because take a look, you see these three square faces? I'm going to shade them in. One, two, three square faces. That's a corner. That's all one cube. So we have to think of this three-dimensionally. That's all one cube. So I'm going to just draw little lines for each cube. I see one, two, three, four, five. And I see 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those two faces are the same cube. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So my base equals 15 units, 15 cubes. Or we could have thought, well, what is my length? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is my width? 1, 2, 3. So 5 times 3, right? That's this length times width, this 5 times 3. So the area of the base is going to be 15 units, either way you, you want to look at it. We multiply the length times width, or we just count the number of cubes. So what we're missing here is what is the height, and that would be given to us if this were a word problem. And so let's say the height is 5 units. So a typical problem would show you this base, and they would say, Pretend that this is the base of a rectangular prism. There are five layers that look just like this one. What is the volume? That's something we can find. Because the volume equals base times height. We'll take a look. Volume equals, we just found the base. We counted the pictures there. 15 units, right? Times how many height? Well, what is our height? Okay, so our height is going to be 5. That's what's given to us there. Okay, so that's going to be 75. We're dealing with cubes, so we'll say 75 cubic units. And that's our volume. 